Happiness is not an option. In life, we need to be happy, find a way to be happy, and then bring it to the next level of joy. Happiness can be superficial. You're happy at a birthday party, happy at a wedding, happy at a bar, bar mitzvah. But then you got to bring it to a level of joy. Joy is a state of mind that's continuous. Joy is not an option. God did not create us human beings to be sad, melancholy, depressed. Rather, God created us to be joyous, to be in a state of joy, which means a state that is the opposite of sadness and darkness and despair. Rather, a state of hope, a state of gladness, a state of happiness. King David wrote in Psalm 100, Ibdu as Hashem b'simcha, serve God with joy. Which means from the morning we wake up till we go to sleep, we need to be in a state of joy and happiness. Well, we're going to ask the question, how can we be happy when we have been encountering some terrible life events? To that the sages teach us. Ibdu es Hashem b'simcha, serve God with joy unconditionally, no matter what comes your way. If you want to be equipped to handle life's difficult times, you want to be equipped with a level of joy. As the great Alter Rebbe in the book of the Tanya writes, when a soldier goes out to war, you can have two soldiers, one soldier who is fully armed with the best of arms to defend himself, etc., or a soldier that doesn't have all the arms. The soldier who has all the arms is depressed, but the soldier who has almost no arms is happy, joyous, upbeat, optimistic. Who do you think has a better chance of surviving the battle? And that is the state of mind that we all need to employ in us. Always focus on what's good in life. Always focus on the positivity that exists in life. Always be cognizant of the gift of life that God has given us and all the good things that we have had. As we go through the journey of life, not everyone has it perfect from birth to death. Not everyone has it terrible from birth to death. It's a color mixture of all different shades of good, bad and ugly. When you're in a state of joy, in a state of happiness, we're able to weather through all the storms that are out there. And that is the point of life. The point of life is to be able to see the light, find a happy moment, find a silver lining, find a way to put yourself in a state of joy and happiness. The founder of Hasidim, Rabbi Yisrael Baal Shem Tev, was the one who 250 years ago introduced this concept of serving God with love and with joy. And he was the one who introduced the concept of dancing and praying together, of serving God out of love, out of joy, not out of fear, but rather out of love. And when we serve God with love and with joy, it is such a greater relationship in both directions. God rests where there's happiness and joy, because we are creating a vessel for His blessings to come. Rather, where there's darkness and sadness and despair and darkness, that's a hard place for godliness to rest. So let's make it easy for God's presence to rest within us. Thus, think of it when we come home after a long day's walk, work, and when we come home, we open the door, and there's a smile on our face, and we're happy and we're joyous. We lift up the spirit of the whole home versus the opposite. It is in our hands. It is in our, our attitude. And it's in our state of mind of how life will reflect upon us. Rabbi Mendel Furtafas, who was sentenced to 25 years of hard labor in Siberia, when he came out with a smile and happiness, and we asked him, how did you, how did you come out of such hard labor in Siberia with a smile and laughing it away? And he had such a beautiful attitude. Rabbi Mendel explained that one of his jobs was to learn how to ride a horse. When they taught him how to ride a horse, they examined him and they asked him an examination, what happens if two feet 
the two front feet of the horse is in quicksand. And he says, well, I go to the back feet and I tickle it and the front feet comes out. And he said, what happens if the back, if the back feet falls into quicksand? He said, I tickle the front feet. And they asked him, what happens if all four feet sink in quicksand? What do you do? So Mendel says he runs around the horse. He looks the horse in the eyes and laughs and laughs and laughs his heart out. So the examiner asked him, I don't understand, you answered all the questions correctly. Why would you laugh when a poor horse is sinking in quicksand? So Ramana looks up at him and says, hey, if all four feet is sinking quicksand, there's nothing anyone in the world can do to help him. What should I do? Should I cry? Is crying going to help? Might as well laugh. And that was Ramendel's attitude. That's what helped him through those hard laboring years in Siberia. Every situation he was at, what's going to help crying and getting depressed and getting decimated and getting in despair? Rather, you know what? Look at it as a passing storm and begin challenging it with a heart of gladness, of joy, putting the sadness into a compartment and just using your core essence as a happy person, as a joyous person, as a positive person, as an optimistic person, then you will create an opportunity for God to lighten your burden and take away the sadness that has become you. So let's flip the switch into joy and happiness as best as we can. And God will help you and bless you with all that you need with a glad heart. God bless you. God loves you.